What I'm about to communicate in this video is one concept that I've found difficult communicating to a newbie or a beginner without visuals. So I, I decided to put it together in a, a video, a short video like this, uh, so that I could always refer someone to it. My name is Topman Paul Dickey, and this is yet another episode of Code Drive Extra. Let's learn how to create a new branch, a new Git branch, how to update um, branches, how to toggle between them, how to merge them, and how to resolve conflicts. On GitHub, I have this repository that I created uh, uh, while taking a tutorial, and it's called C Programs. I have a copy of it on my local as well. I have it here, C Programs. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be using. There's uh, something unusual about this uh, repository. It does not have, it's, <laughs> there's no master branch, there's no main branch, but actually there's a main branch. It was renamed to the demo, right? So that, that, that branch by default is the master, and but it is known as a main branch. So we call it main sometimes, but I choose to rename it to be demo rather than naming it to be main, okay? Um, you can see that in the video that precedes this one and it's on the playlist. So, git branch is the command we use to know how many branches we have and or what, what branch you know you are at the moment. Okay, so if I add, if I give, if I pass an argument to uh, git branch, let's say second, uh, second branch, it becomes a new created branch. Look at it there. So I could toggle between these branches. I want to move. I, I use the command git checkout and pass the name of the branch that I want to move to. And I've switched. You can see it highlighted. I'm now on the second branch, and it has a copy of everything that is on the main branch. The main branch I mean here is demo. Demo is the main branch here. Yeah. Okay, remember it was just renamed. So I want to create a file with which I'm going to uh, cause a conflict. I want to cause a conflict intentionally. So I will name it test one. Right, the file has been created. You can see uh, the content that I gave it is there. So I will add this to Git. Let me add it to Git. So Git add uh, the changes here. Add the change here. Git commits. You can use any commit message, but use something that makes sense. You know, if you're a newbie, use the one that they gave you. Okay. So. Git push, I have to specify for the first push, so origin and then name of the branch. Other ones I can be using only git push, but it's necessary I do this for the first one. Okay, uh, on, on, on git, uh, on github you are seeing, you can see something just appeared on the on my screen at the top side. Okay, let's leave that for now. Uh, okay, so let's, let's, uh, I'm, I'm going to clear my screen. Let me, let me move uh, to the other branch um, so I'll check out to so the other branch just to show you that the file that, that I just created is not there it's not there right so see now I'm in demo this file that I created test one is not here but it's here in the other branch second branch okay on demo it is not here but I'm going to create one here okay and, and i'm going to demonstrate also how that i could uh, maybe i'll update this with me or something else how that i could make changes in one um, branch and there will no trouble it will just update when i match when i make good branch okay so let me create uh, a, a, a file with the same name but different content entirely different content this is the file that will cause the conflict so the define name of course is test one. All right, here it is. It has the content that I've given to it. All right, take note of that. And let me check the other branch now to show you how that the con oh I need to push this to get sorry. Yes, the content again. I need to push this to get before I could if I will check out so that I don't overwrite. It. Like I said, you can pick any commit message, but use something that makes sense. People are seeing your work. Git push. 
and there it is there it is so let's let's let me refresh here and show you let me refresh github and show you that i now have two branches look at it i have demo i have second branch so if i check uh, the content of test test one in demo you see that it has the content main branch file which i gave it you saw me give it the content and then let's switch to the branch second branch yeah and also check the content of test one you can see that it has what i gave it testing something now what i just did we can do it on the command line and i'm going to do that um very very i'm going to do that shortly okay uh So now let, let's do it here as well. Uh, so um, git checkout. Let's move to the second branch. Now I'm going to cut into tests. See that it's showing that the, the content of the, uh, the file test one in this other branch is different from the content in this other branch. You can see it. It's, it's the same command. Cut test one you know and cut test one here but the, the the output was different showing that the both files in the uh, both branches have different content okay I, i'm going to um, let me see what is inside the file trial okay <laughs> okay what we have that's interesting now i want to change i want to add something to the file trial in one of just one of the branches let's update this file to see what will happen when i merge both branches okay so let's save escape column wq enter okay um let me add that to git Okay, so this will just update when I merge both files because I, I, I will explain that I will explain that as we progress anyway. I will explain why it will make the conflict but update. You know. So let's let's now look at the content of these files in both branches. These two files that I have uh, edited. So I'm moving to the other branch, check out the other branch, and then do the same thing, cut test one trial and cut test one. Now watch the content very watch the content very well this other one has what will happen and this one has what will happen and an additional line this will cause an update if i merge these files you know it cause an update you just add the second line that there'll be no problem but this one has an entirely different content from this one you know so that will cause the conflict now this is how I merge branch. I want to merge it. I have to be in the branch that I want to. I'll, I'll be in the main branch. Make sure I'm in the main branch. And I will type git merge and type the name of the branch that I want to merge. So that's it. Look at the conflicts. There's a conflict here. And the conflict is with test one. It could not resolve it automatically. So I have to fix it manually. So if I enter the command uh, git status, it, it, it should show me the status right now. Git status. It's telling me that it modified trial that means there's no problem there trial has been updated why tests one is the file that is giving us the problem so what do i do like i said i'm going to manually um go into it look at that look at that so there, there, this, this, there are conflict markers here right now one is in between the the what we have from both branches you know and the other one at the end showing that this one came from second branch the other one came from the head the main branch you know even though we call it demo it's still recognized as the main branch so let's take off these conflict markers that's just it that's just all you need to do at times like this take off the conflict markers or and allow the file to have what you want it to have so i mean i want the file to have the boot lines so after this let's know what to do is to get add push it to git uh, push it to git uh, so it commits uh, conflicts conflicts resolved so I'm going to git push oh 
Okay, so let's go here and refresh and see what has happened. Now, you observed that there was something that appeared at the top here that has disappeared now. That thing came like one in two. It came to make me able to merge the branches from here, but I didn't want to do it from here. So let's see what I have in test one. If I test one, okay, this is not the main branch. This is the second branch. So let's go to the main branch demo. You can see it within default. So let's see what is inside test one. You can see it now has both lines. That's the way I allowed it to have. You know, so the conflict has been resolved. I wanted to have good lines, you know, and of course, uh, second branch will still be here. I did not delete it until I delete it. Of course, I can delete it either from here or from the command line. So that's uh, it's as simple as that. That's that's what they need to do. That's how it's done. So um, do like this video if you really like it, and please subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more. And follow me on GitHub. On Facebook, on Twitter, at T GK. Connect with me on LinkedIn. You know, let's network. <laughs> let's learn from one another. Thank you so much for watching.